Okay, so I have every right to not be in a good mood, and I'm just going to let everything fly here. But what happened today? Um, dog got hurt. Confusion about how dog got hurt. We got that established, got the dog in. Should have been routine. Have his foot sewn up. We asked them to amputate it, but they wanted to save it because, you know, they make more money that way. And um, they acted like nothing was wrong. Sent him home. Gave some lame, the, the usual lame thing about junkies are all over Indiana. Yeah, we all freaking know that. But I don't have any drug history. And I know they look people up. So, you know, normally they just ask for your driver's license. And I know better. So I thought that was weird. And they brought, dog came home. He was barfing up vile, uh, bile. I took his vitals. They were highly abnormal. And we called. And they were like, oh, they were really quick to say, bring him back. So we brought him back, and um, as we were bringing, getting him into the car, he passed out. He lost consciousness, so we thought we were saying goodbye, and we may still be. I don't know. He had gone into full shock, and we got him to the vet, and uh, they blah, 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 said something about they thought he had a pre-existing heart condition. He did not. I, I said, did you do an EKG before surgery? And they had to admit that, yes, they did. Was it abnormal? No, it wasn't. And then I backed him into telling me the truth, that they underestimated the amount of um, anesthesia to give him for surgery. And um, he woke up during it, and they gave him more and it was too much and he quit breathing. So they had to give him a reversal, which woke him up during surgery. And then they had to give him more again. So that, I, I can't imagine what that did to his body. They, they messed up in so many different ways. And then they completed, instead of just cutting his toe off at that point, they still continued with this advanced surgery. So they messed up and they're admitting to it now. But, um, he is alert now. They did manage to revive him. I don't know if he'll live or not. So I'll let you know. I've been awake for, I don't know, 30-something hours. And I'm still, like, I'm running off caffeine and anger and sadness. But I'm going to say this right now because I am just, I'm just, I'm, like, hot under the collar. Woo! For the people who, um... I know who is behind this whole attempt to brigade my new rescue. And the reason why is entirely personal. It involves misogyny. You, you know who you are. You're not even in rescue, but you know who you are. You don't like me because of politics and because you don't like women. And you basically admitted it. I'm a woman. They'll probably turn around and say, no, you're not a real woman or whatever. I'm a biological woman. Um, but that's your your issue, and I wouldn't listen to you. We got into an argument about um, spay abortions, and oh, that apparently that MAGA crap runs into TOG reproduction freedom, and uh, the friendship ended right there, and I was told I was not a good parent because I would do dog abortions, so... You know, just uh, sometimes I think I'm crazy, but a lot of people are a lot crazier than I am. But doing stuff like having people post stuff on my feed, like um, accusing me of not having my dog spayed and neutered. No, I can't. I, my vet will not spay and neuter an eight-week-old puppy. That's why I have a contract. Go to WhenDoesYourFarmsRescue.com and you can read it there, or you can go to. There's so many. I have so many resources out there. Um, you can go to my Winders or Farms Rescue Facebook page. You can message either Asia or I will get back to you. But there is no need to post bullshit on my page that other people can read. Okay, you are now seeing the fearless side of me that does not give a damn if I piss a bunch of people off, lose a bunch of followers, whatever. I never claim to be a nice person. I'm, I try to be nice to the few people I care about. Uh, my closest friends, you know who you are, um, if I talk to you regularly, you're in it. Um, my kids, my, um, my husband, the most important people to me in the world, 
and my animals. But otherwise, I I probably I don't really give a damn about you. I care about the dogs, and that's why I'm doing this. If you are doing this because you want to be the best and the most popular, and a new person comes in and you feel threatened by them, or you're just a sexist asshole and you want to bring a woman down, you do not care about dogs and you need to look in the mirror and ask yourself why you're even bothering because you are that is not it I would never ever do anything to jeopardize anybody's rescue somebody would I know one person out there would claim otherwise but I have already explained my side of the story on that one I was protecting myself um I would never ever do anything to jeopardize somebody's legitimate rescue. Um, that's cruelty, and every time you do that, you interfere with the saving of other dogs. So, you mess with me again, a lot of people around me will say the same thing. I am fearless. I'm fearless. I have no fear when it comes to handling animals, when it comes to my own personal safety even. I lack the basic instinct of self-preservation, even if I destroy, well, not destroy, but do some harm to my own rescue, I will fight. I will come out swinging, not physically. I will not physically threaten you. But um, this crap that's been popping up on my Facebook feed, you better quit. And it won't be me coming after you. It will be a lawyer. And don't think for a second that I don't have the money just because there's holes in my couch. Anyways, I hope my dog lives. Um, I won't be in a good mood tomorrow. I'm in an okay mood right now. I will not be in a good mood tomorrow if my dog dies. So, probably don't want to message me or anything, even if you are my good friends. If my dog dies, I'll make a quick announcement letting you know either way. But... To those who have stood behind me and actually give a damn about what I'm doing here or trying to do, I'm not perfect. I'm, I've messed up a few times, but I'm trying to do everything by the rule book. Um, I love you. I do love you. Um, Asia, Cindy in particular, the two people that the women I'm closest to, thank you for being there for me. Seriously, you're like the only two people I talk to anymore. Uh, aside from my husband, who is my best friend, and my kids, who are my world. So, I love you. Um, but everybody else can just, you know, I, uh, I really appreciate kind words, and I'll return them. And, you know, I'm open to making new friendships, if they're honest. But the second you get nasty with me, I, I, mm -mm. Look in these eyes. Do I look like somebody you want to mess with? Anyways, uh, I will conclude that now. Everyone have a beautiful day. I am not going to have a good day, even if my dog does survive. Um, I'm miserable. This is just soul crushing. So, um, all right. Good night, everyone.